Welcome back to Careful Boys. Careful. We gotta be careful. I'm very careful. Oh. Is that like the irony in the thing? Yeah, yeah it's no. careful comma no boys. No way. Hey, it's, it's, ruin it, bro. it's a new age and we have to be extremely considerate and careful. She can't be danger? No, 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 no. We ain't no. the danger boys. We're the careful boys. Dangerous. It's a new era, man. And you know what I like to bring back is my character, the woke moose. There's a woke moose? I yeah, have the woke moose. Is there a just I have bull a woke in the woke moose. No, because it's a new time. And I realized that I gotta mature and I've been making too many immature jokes. And I haven't been considerate about all of our fans out there who just need a really safe space to come to. That's a good example of a woke joke. A woke joke? Yeah. Yeah, like a knock knock joke. <laughs> but who's on <laughs> the other you side? You just can't offend nobody. That's, no, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, knock that's, knock, who's there? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah, no, I no, like I knocked. I, I asked. Because it's like someone just knock it and they're like, get the fuck, I don't even know who the fuck you are doing out there. I know. The yeah. non castle law. Yeah, see, that's not woke. Knock knock jokes are intrusive, man. A woke joke is like this. All right, um, an Indian man, a white man. <laughs> oh, you can't do that, right? What about yeah, all the priests walking to the bar jokes? Those are gone. Uh, here's a woke joke. All right, here, here, here's three non-binary individuals walking to a place consensually, consensually, to have a round of drinks, to have a conversation. One. <laughs> no, no, let him go. Right? That's it. You can't even say anything. Else. One says to two, the "Beats, right? How are you doing?" And then the other one says, "Shut up and give me my safe yeah. space." <laughs> may I? May I ask you how you're? That's just a joke, doing. all right? That's it. Three individuals constructively share their life experiences and talk about psychology. Okay. How how that's deep? A how that's, 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 yeah. that's, that's a woke joke right there. That's a woke joke. Yeah. The the there's woke highway. How how deep rooted is this? Uh, like, there's been a lot of comments I think on like Disney in particular and other places for really shoving it in your face with yeah. movies and TV shows. I I don't have it. You got a kid. Made to be honest, way. I don't even know what woke means. What does it mean? That's a good point because it's like wokeness can be used like, so like how people just. If you don't agree, you're a Nazi or you're a fascist. They just use it, right? So it's like, oh, this guy's annoying. He's just fucking woke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It, it gets thrown around like that. But in my definition, wokeness is like a, it's like an extreme militant version of imposing what you virtue signal into the world. And originally, I thought what real wokeness was, was digging through and, and understanding, like you go down the rabbit hole of tracing like the motive of why, you know, this special interest group is paying off this politician and you dig beyond what the media is telling yeah. you. Filtering, yeah. filtering propaganda a little bit. Right. right. It's like the Matrix. Yeah. Little, yeah. little cons. Yeah, the little red little pill, blue. Yeah, blue exactly. I think you're right though. I think it's an extreme version of being PC or yeah. like just for my ego. Like to make me feel moral good. superiority. So, so I think there was there was a time at which like uh, somebody like had become woke. Maybe before it was like quote unquote woke culture, but maybe somebody had become woke and they started understanding things, you know, outside of the matrix and like seeing the lies yeah. behind the whatever. But now there's some like woke culture. Like what is so, like, that? The theoretical woke is seeing things for what they are past the media, the truth, right? Like the the behind the scenes handshakes. But I think woke culture now, it almost seems like there's like this aggressive take on it where like you have to, like in just a little bit of virtue signaling, like I see the truth, so I have to force you to have the truth. And if you're not willing to take the truth that I know, then you're part of the problem, right? That's kind of like, yeah, yeah. is that, that's my, me, my gauge of like- I think we're all similar, Paige. Yeah. I think we all kind of think- I think so, because I would define woke culture as someone who wants to impose their uh, morality on you. And if you question it, criticize it or say anything against it then you're all of a sudden the uh the the hitler so like so like right now like so for example right everything is about um being inclusive with diversity or whatever and i mean let's celebrate maybe someone who might be fat right and then it's like okay cool i don't care uh put a fat person on an advertisement it doesn't bother me much right but then i think a woke would put that on steroids and go well, not only, you know, should we just include them there, but we should just say that, like, this person is the epitome of what all men should strive for because they are beautiful too. 
And it's like, well, hold on there. And right? then getting mad at another uh, advertisement firm for not putting fat people in their ads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Or for putting like a buff but, person and, oh, that's not ideal. Yeah. 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 Or like, let's say this fat person now wants to lose weight and they go, oh, now you're fat phobic. Mm. Yeah, like Adele when she lost Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah how'd she get blasted? That? Dude, Maybe, people get so mad when someone shit. loses weight like that. I know, they get so mad, they're like, oh, you betrayed us. Because the other one that I experienced, well not experienced, but what I kind of see out there, is almost like let's say like Nick's like a white guy or something, right? Hey, don't I'm, say that. Yeah, let's say a white Whoa. guy. He has a white guy's last name. Hey, you and and the right. closest white guy here. And Nick's, yeah. and Nick's my name is very white. And Nick's telling me like, um, hey, I'm so sorry, my culture has oppressed you for centuries. And I'm, I'm like, sorry. And like, I want to give you some money. And I'm like, no, I'm good. I, I do good for myself. Like, no, 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 you don't know. I know what's best for you. Like that's what I also yeah, yeah, yeah. see too, right? Where it's like yeah. it feels like, wait, are you really trying to help? Because it's like they're almost. What they call white guilt. I yeah, think that's but, white guilt. But they're yeah. using like a um, by the amount of support, they're actually being racist. Like no, no, no. You, your culture they can't view that. you as subhuman, yeah, you and you need help. <laughs> we, it can, you guys can only stand up through my involvement. Yeah. Yeah. I need to help you. Yeah, yeah. Like the only that. part so, that I really hate up all of it, and you can't really tell, although it gives a vibe, is that it is all optics. Mm -hmm. Like if you truly cared, if Nick truly cared in that instance, yeah. then I don't, I don't have anything wrong. Like if it, in his heart of hearts, yeah. believe that. All right. And you know, in his heart, of, in his heart of hearts, if I said I'm good, he'd be like, okay, cool. Right. Yeah. But 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 it's he wouldn't optic, continue it. Right. Yeah. It's an optic thing to get off his conscience, to get off his ego, to prove that he's a good human. But what if I had a camera while I was having this conversation with him? Then it's I need to pay you. Then it's honest. I need to honest. give you. Yeah. And you go like, subscribe yeah. for more White Gill. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. And that's my channel, White Gill. <laughs> subscribe to my channel, White Gill. Is it also another? Uh, you had mentioned this word uh, uh, earlier. Overcompensation, overcorrection. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are we in like a time of potential? So that's where I want to go. Yeah. But I wonder if it's going to continue if if media does it so much, and I don't have kids, that's so I want to go to Bart, and, and and they're shoving it in little kids' faces in a way. I wonder if those kids will grow up with the same, or if the kids will grow up and rebel against it. Or they're just way better, and we we're like, holy shit, we should have woke up a long time yeah, yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. There, there, yeah. yeah there's I been so many is. movies that people rip for shit like that that they just throw it in your mm -hmm. face. Yeah. I think there is overcorrection because um, I don't think, like, I think everyone has a point. I think everyone who's hurt has a point. I don't think everybody's reflex to being hurt is the correct answer. Mm. There's a lot of misdirected anger, that's for sure, because, Very like, good. There's a lot of shortcut thinking, right? When, especially when you're frustrated or emotional, what ends up happening is you you don't get to think clear, and then you revert back to defense mechanisms. So, like, let's say you're triggered because something symbolizes something to you. For example, um, you know we have incels in the Asian community who see uh, Asian girl yeah, with the white guy, funny. right? They'll see Asian girl yeah. with the white guy. They get triggered and then they go, oh, she hates herself. I know, she, I hate you know, that. Like they, they automatic. It's like, do you do you really believe that every single interracial like relationship has no love and it's just like a like a colonizing like example? It's always fetishization. It's always fet like no, like come on, dude, like get to know the individuals. Yeah. Have a conversation. Don't just write them off and don't treat people. It's like it's not all mail order brides. Exactly. <laughs> but there's so many. Speak instances. for yourself, Ryan. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Speak for yourself. <laughs> and I think there's so many instances of that because what ends up happening is somewhere along the line, someone gets bullied, someone gets hurt, someone feels entitled or something, right? Yeah. And then they see these symbolisms like all over where they get triggered by it and they use shortcut thinking to go, oh, I see what this is, you know, but it's not. A lot of the times, it's not. Yeah. The the what I realize is that people fail to see nuances, because it's so much. The world is like black, black and white, right? Like like meaning they think in um, what do you call it? Like, like uh, everything has two options yeah, or binary. Binary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything is binary, right? Nine zeros. It's very like Democrat Republican. It's it's always like oh, you remind me of someone who's like a Trump supporter, so therefore you are. Because what I'm seeing is, yeah. it's also being weaponized by the media and people. So for example, with the whole casting of Joe Rogan, right? He's a Bernie supporter, he's been a Democrat pretty much always, but then he's all of a sudden a right-winger. 
<laughs> and then people who don't do the homework, they go, oh, I'm not gonna listen to Joe Rogan. He's that right winger guy that gives a platform for all these extremists and misinformation and whatever. They're doing that to Russell Brand too. Russell Brand, he's been talking against the media. He's been, you know, well, not really against the media, but against corruption with facts, all this stuff, questioning certain things that we as a democratic, you know, process nation should question our government, right? And he's just doing like research and having conversations. Then the media comes after him and goes, oh, he's a conspiracy theorist. He's a right wing. Yeah, make him look he's dumb this. or crazy. Today's video is brought to you by ExpressVPN. All right, so as you guys know, I, I was lucky enough to be in a movie called The Fabulous Filipino Bros. Unfortunately, they were only first released in Asia, and I have no idea why it was all blocked in US. And I was like trying to figure out what to do, but thankfully, we have a solution here. I know most of you guys are just thinking like, why don't you use incognito mode? Let me tell you something. Incognito mode doesn't hide your activity, but also you can't even watch content from other countries just by using incognito mode. It doesn't matter who your internet service provider is. ISPs in the US can legally sell your information to the ad companies. ExpressVPN is an app that reroutes your internet connection through their secure server so the ISP cannot see which websites you visited. ExpressVPN also keeps all of your information secure by encrypting 100% of your data with the most powerful encryption available. Most of the time I don't even know that I have ExpressVPN on. It runs seamlessly in the background and it's so easy to use. All you gotta do is tap that button and you're protected. ExpressVPN is available on all of your devices, phones, computers, and even your smart TV. So there's no excuse for you to not be using it. Protect your online activity today with the VPN rated number one by Business Insider. Visit our exclusive link, expressvpn.com slash off the record, and you can get an extra three months for free on a one year package. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S vpn.com slash off the record. Expressvpn.com slash off the record to learn more. But he's more communist and left than a fucking could be ever close to a conservative. But then now there's all these like things in that are going on where it's like, oh, if you disagree, then you're a Hitler. If you disagree, you're a fascist. That's, yeah, that's disagree. the thing that I, th yeah. I think is weird too is I don't remember that happening a long time ago where like if you even slightly, if you're not on the same team, then you're the fucking enemy. It's like, dude. Yeah. That happens here, like in, in, on JK News. Like we'll just talk about certain shit and people disagree. They're like, oh, you guys are anti-vaxxing, fucking right wing, <laughs> whatever, whatever. I'm like, God damn, like have a conversation. I mean, I'm, the cool thing is like, I'm down to change my mind all the time. Like I'll be wrong and yeah, I'll go, oh fuck, all, I didn't know that. All the Asians were first getting beat up. Like um, I was like, oh shit, this is, this sucks. Like this is pretty crazy. And then I hit up uh, Tim Kennedy to do that situational awareness seminar thing. A little yeah. background around uh, Tim Kennedy. What is oh, he? So Tim Kennedy, Kennedy is a former UFC fighter, a former Green Beret, which is Special Forces. So he's like pretty much like as as close as you can get to like Jason Bourne or Mission Impossible in real life, like yeah, jumping out of the helicopters yeah. and fucking like overthrowing governments from the inside out. Like that's as wow. close as you can get to. Why'd you uh, say it's so casual? Yeah, yeah. Cause that's what that's what. He's <laughs> I know, but just how you said he's so, like so he wanted... basically just overthrows uh, shitty governments. Over <laughs> <laughs> and so you're, you wanted to help the community by having someone who's military and trained and all that who's stuff. Who's really good at what to he does. Help the community yeah. protect themselves, yeah. maybe, protect themselves, yeah. or each other. That, so for yeah. me, I believe uh, problems, most problems are solved on the individual basis. And so when you're responsible for like, if I'm responsible for my bike, you're responsible for your bike, responsible for your bike, then statistically, when you look in retrospect, there's a lot of safe bikes. Rather than I think how people like to solve problems is like, this place has a lot of stolen bikes all the time and they just do like a blanket solution. Yeah, bikes are outlawed here now. Yeah. yeah. Well, they can't Versus get stolen if they're not here. It doesn't really ever fix the problem, you know? So, right. so when I saw that, I was like, okay, cool. Let's get an expert and let's teach some basic things that a, even an Asian grandma or Asian grandpa can do. And so that was like my way of like trying to help our community. And then after that, uh, I would get DMs of me not sharing stories of the Asian like grandparents getting beat up that much when I'm like I'm pretty sure like the stuff that I'm promoting or the things that I'm commenting or even like getting someone at that level to share actual tactics, solution based solution based 
is actually more effective than just going rah 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 rah, which I feel like is almost kind of part of that woke. Yeah. That's a people, way. That's people a way are bigger. Used to that now. Yeah, they're yeah. used to fear like mongering in a yeah. way. Like, D don't drink coffee, Joe, or you're gonna your head's gonna explode. And then I just show you videos of heads exploding. Yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> really? See, it's happening. Really, though. scanners clips. Like that's how the news works. It's funny yeah. because we want actionable plans. Yeah. Right? So then, so they're like, well, you're not spreading awareness. You never talk about it on JK News. We talk about it all the fucking time, but we also are a comedy channel. So how many videos are we gonna post of, you know, Asian violence? Like, that's gonna, if we did that, that would be like 30 fucking videos a month. There's so much. Yeah, it yeah. sucks, right? It, it, there is an argument to be made that like awareness, not that it's useless, but like, what's it gonna do? Like, like those jackasses that are doing the violence, watch Bart's video because he reposted, like, yeah, I'm not gonna punch today. I decided not to punch nobody. I got into a fight with a communist because it's so hilarious, right? Because I, I was making a joke about um, China bots. And then he was yeah. like, that's the kind of rhetoric that gets everyone to hate Asians. It's fucking real. And I'm like, but China bots exist. They exist, yeah. Yeah. I think the awareness is is helpful, but I think the second like people start getting slandered for not promoting awareness, I think that's like that's, that's a good. different oh. version of harmful. Yeah. That's been so that's huge else, the last yeah. two years. Yeah. That's someone else's metric of what is considered helpful for this movement, right? Well, and who's to judge what's like priority or not? Exactly. There, there's crime and bad things happening everywhere. 100%. So like w w my Instagram's now a news feed? And I'm just gonna repost any news yeah. that's ever happened bad yeah, to any person anywhere. And I feel like, news. and yeah. I feel like the it's unrealistic for the logic to be awareness uh, deters bullies. Right. Right. I think never, the logic or is, solves anything. It never has. Or the victims, and then the bullies will. Right. Right. You give fucking deer machine guns. Yeah. I don't think lions are gonna eat them. But if you go, lions, don't eat them, please. Yeah. That's not gonna do shit, yeah. dude. That's like, that's like, that's like dude. recently, right? And you're only talking to other deers. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. You're talking and to the lions. I, I recently, I recently saw this thing where to combat Asian hate, they got all this fucking money, millions of dollars, right? And their solution was to educate people on Asian America. And I'm like, the dudes fighting, fuck, beating people up are on drugs. And they're not fucking reading this material. He's not, he doesn't people. go to UC Berkeley. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have the pamphlets yeah. over there. <laughs> if someone's truly like racist, like truly, you're not gonna sit down and convince them otherwise. Especially not through a textbook. Yeah. <laughs> like the fuck, especially not through a fucking commercial. But definitely you know IG I mean? stories will work. Yeah. An IG story will work. Like someone's gonna watch fucking TV and see how like, an Asian hate commercial and go, you know what? I'm not gonna beat up Asian people today. It just I'm, makes no sense. I am gonna violate parole, but I'm not gonna beat up <laughs> Asians. Yeah. I, I was gonna rob an Asian lady, but you know, today I'm gonna rob a white lady yeah. instead. That's Which, what I'm gonna What do. commercial did I not <laughs> that was see? The scales oh, it's like, white lady, yeah. It's like sheep trying to fucking keep wolves away. Yeah. The I think, fuck? I think this is the good definition of like wokeness because they just feel better yelling at Bart that they didn't. Yeah. I know when he's trying <laughs> to provide because I love solution. Asians. You don't love Asians. Yeah. I love Asians more than you, and you're Asian, and you won't, <laughs> and you won't even and you won't even share it. Yeah, it's Why about, do you care about our people. It's about how good they feel rather than how effective it is. Yeah, yeah. right, right. Yeah, I yell at Bart Quan today. Yeah. I, I feel like it's a oh, combination. Quan. <laughs> I took his last name. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely a combination of fear because it's like you're afraid to actually do something that will challenge you and you have to sacrifice right. whether time or money it's difficult, or difficult, right? Yeah. And then another thing is no one really wants the responsibility. So what I when I see all these like videos of people getting fucked up, right? They go, oh, if that was me, I'd fucking do it around me, motherfucker, that. right? Right? That's one. <laughs> And then they fucking blame the people around them like pieces oh, of yeah. shit. They're not these mean. fucking assholes. What are they doing? Just standing around. And I'm like, that's humans though. Like How most people humans? have been in that situation. Most it's rare. I've only been in one. Most humans don't understand violence. Yeah. Most yeah, humans bro. don't know what to do. Yeah. And it's like that's why movies they they a virtuous character is courage, right? Because the reason why it's virtuous is because most people don't do it. Yeah, it's rare. So it's like. And here's the other hard part. The same amount of uh, media or videos that are being shared of like those incidences, it's like you're also hearing stories about people who step in and then die. Sure. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So you get that, yeah. that regular yeah. human fear too. You know what I mean? And I think it's obvious that we want courageous people to go out there and do something, right? But then at the same time, you know, blaming the people that are afraid is also fucked up. 
Oh yeah. Because exactly. because everyone in that it's like no one knows what to do. They're not trained to kill somebody. Well, also, or everybody that I've seen who is trained and could very well diffuse any of these situations with whatever skills they have always gives the advice of get the fuck out of there. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say. To so be that. honest, that's yeah. that's, that's what you yeah, hear. don't get involved. When yeah. the person who can do yeah. it, when you ask them, what should yeah. I do? They always say. If you can not be there, yeah. just yeah. go. Yeah, get safe, call 911. Yeah. <laughs> but I've heard from a million people yeah. who's never fought or been in violence being like, oh, I would have kicked oh, yeah. his legs, yeah. and I would have yeah. been like that, and I would have been like how about that? How about that fucking cop that's going viral? The black dude? The fuck? He's gonna be on next week. Dale Brown? He's gonna be on next week. On here? We're gonna get him, dude. Yeah. Let's go! He's a commander, dude. You, yeah, you watch what you're saying. I thought his name was Tim Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> Bart gets that kind of <laughs> We mix him up. Oh, we should have him on. Teach ages how not to get beat up. Oh, man. Oh, shit. That was fast, though, dude. That was fast. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's fucking but even loses that, his head. Even that guy, I see him as, like, miles above all the other fucking commenters, because at least he is trying to provide solutions. He's like, doing something. That's true. He probably get a lot of people killed, but he's yeah. trying Whether something. That's what I think every time. I was like, he moves this gun like this way, now he's shot in the left eye instead of the right eye, and that's yeah. that's what he wanted. Well, he did this, though. <laughs> yeah. He's still one step above just fucking spreading awareness. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, yeah. He's trying. Let me spread awareness and comment on a Neck Shark article. <laughs> that's how you do it, though.